Ian here with the Seek First Adventure, and today we're going to be continuing the uh, refurbish of the windows. This is going to be part three of this series on the dual pane windows. I got quite a few um, in depth videos on windows, so um, if you haven't already seen the first two parts of this, you want to go back and check those out. So today we're going to be putting the windows back together. We, uh, I got the windows, I got the outside panes tinted and so we're going to be putting the gaskets in, putting them in, getting them lined up and back together, um, putting the, the caulking sealant around them and then putting the, the what's that, I don't remember what it's called, but the trim outside gasket and we're putting the sash pieces together, ribbing it all together, all that. I'm going to start off, you want to make sure that you have the mold marks on the window, the little, those little spots on the very top. You want those to the top of the jig, because they're actually there. Oh, those are the dirty spots, so this way, because they're actually those little spots up there at the top. I don't know if you can see that. But you put those to the top, because you got to have those lined up. You got to have everything the right way otherwise the curve is different and so it won't line up. I actually put two together accidentally with it wrong and I learned that it really doesn't work. So <laughs> you gotta do it the right way. It's crazy. So put those at the top and then I'm gonna clean up the glass real good. Alright so I'm using these edge tech spacers um, these are from vintage trailer gaskets.com there's a link below they have everything you need for any vintage airstreams or uh, avions or any of that kind of stuff and these are really great because it's just a it's like a thick foam and then it has the foil tape that goes on the outside um, that goes to the out of the window and that is a moisture barrier and these also have the the foam has it's a built-in desiccant to keep moisture out of the panes so these are fantastic and they have um, adhesive on both sides to hold the windows together um, and then instead of having to use like some sort of sealant that's what they did from the factory they just ran a bead of sealant or bundle around there um, and that's a lot messier and um, you have to also put like the silica gel in there in the seal, uh, in the sealant and it's just a pain in the butt so this stuff is infinitely better you need to get that if you're doing this so I also I built this little spacer because you want it to be about 3 16 of an inch in of the of the edge of the window and so I just run this around the outside while I'm putting it down I just glued two pieces of wood together and have a 316 gap there. insert it down into the jib, making sure we got the mold scores at the top. And then it should be a nice slip fit. So we got it down in the jig, and then we're gonna 
gonna clean it one more time because I got some fingerprints, some smudges on it. You don't want that. And I'm just using just some Meguiar's detailing glass cleaner. Stuff seems to work pretty good. Now I'm gonna clean up the top piece that has the tint on it. So I got it sitting over here, so I'm gonna go clean that up and then we'll move on to the next step. And here is the outside, the outside pane. This is the 3 16 pane. You can see that it's got tint on it. I had it tinted up at my work, the work at Ford dealership. Um, it's 35% automotive thermal tint, so it's gonna provide quite a bit of support in the heat. And it looks kind of dark in here, but whenever you go outside, it's, it's still, you can see through it really well. It's not gonna make the trailer too dark or anything like that. Um, you can go with 40% if you want. It still is a little bit lighter, but we felt like this was gonna look really good. So, you wanna be sure to not touch the bottom part of the pane or any of that. Um, and the adhesive is exposed, so where you put it down, it's gonna stick. So I'm trying to line it all up very carefully in this thing to get it just right. And it slides right down in where the alignment blocks are. And that is it. So from there, then I pop it out of place. Oh, just a little tight. <laughs> and then I just go around and really Make sure it's pressed down. I'm pressing with both hands because I don't want to push down on it and I really don't want to accidentally like push too hard to break the glass or I, I doubt that would happen, but I'm just so nervous with working with this glass since you can't really get replacements. I have one piece that's broke. Luckily, it is an inside pane and so I think I can either get a piece made potentially and if not, then I can I may have to use plexiglass. I don't want to do that, but it may be my only option. All right, and there you have it. It's together. Somebody just started mowing, but it's Saturday. And then from next step, we're gonna be putting the secondary sealant in that 3 16 gap in there. And that'll seal it up 100%. So I'm gonna get the caulking gun and everything ready for that. All right, so we're ready to put the secondary sealant around the, the glass panes. Um, so what this is, is it's a, it's a secondary sealant. It's called the Airstream Glass Spacer Secondary Sealant. And it basically just goes in that gap and it creates a final seal to prevent any moisture from getting in there. Um, again, got this from Vintage Trailer Gasket. They also provide, yeah, buy, but, um, this little application doohickey. Let's see if I can get it focused on it. Maybe. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So that you can see it's got a spot for the caulking tip to stick in there and a little hole in that little groove that fits right in between those panes. And then it just applies it perfectly in between there. So it's quite the handy little device so <clears throat> just stick it on the front of it I went out and got an electric caulking gun because I was tired of using the manual one so we'll see how this goes
So from here, we gotta let this dry for about 24 hours and then we can add the sash gasket and put the window pane back together. So I'm gonna clean this stuff up and then we'll be back at this tomorrow and we'll complete this video then. Now the sealant in the pane has cured. It's been about 24 hours, so we're gonna be putting the windows back together. We got the the two sashes. I've polished these up because I'm polishing a lot of the window stuff beforehand, doing like a rough cut on it, so that whenever it goes on, it'll be easier to polish it and just do like a finishing hit on it um, once it's on the airstream. So I'm gonna grab the window pane. So I got the replacement gasket from Vintage Trailer Gasket, and this is just like the original, how it goes around the outside of the glass. So I'll start by just installing this around the outside of the two panes, and I'm gonna use um, just some silicone. the top of the windows point into the top of these frames because you got the the hinge poles on the top so make sure that all that's lined up so if you try to put it in <clears throat> upside down it's not gonna work then I'm just gonna add a little more silicone spray the outside of the gasket like I said this stuff does be tricky going together. And then just gonna gently start. Lighting it on. You want to make sure that it doesn't pull the gasket down too far and start to cut into it. That's kind of what I'm trying to do right here. You want to make sure you just keep going nice and even. here and I like to kind of once I get them to where it's touching the gasket I kind of push the gasket out into the frame itself that kind of helps 
it seat in there and then the glass pushes into it instead of trying to like squish it past. Um, so the next step, you need one of these big bar clamps <coughs> and you're gonna wanna clamp on the outside edge of the frame and try to just squeeze it together. So now that I got it like that, I'm gonna kinda push the gasket into its place and seat it. And see, it becomes kinda tricky because it's like, Really loose on this <coughs> outside edge out here. Now the window is pretty much together. There's just a tiny gap on both sides. Um, this one fought pretty hard. <laughs> Uh, I did the smaller like 18 by 22 window and that one just slid right together so I guess maybe the larger windows are, are more of a challenge to get together just because there's a lot more going on there. Um, either way, it was a real pain in the butt. So um, this is not my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> Ready to be past the windows, I still have quite a bit more to do so that's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the project. So now I'm gonna be riveting them together. We got uh, some Trem Pro 635 that I'm gonna start off by sealing the, <coughs> the cracks, the gap between those. I'm gonna seal it and then clamp it and then rivet it with solid buck rivets um, and then put the, the hinge across the top and then do the bottom side. So. We're using the eighth inch by I believe half inch solid buck rivets and just So we got them in there, and then we're just gonna use our bucking bar on the back side and just little hits. Just a small bead along the hinge line. Just a little bit of brake clean. Just 
clean up. Now the last step is to replace the weather stripping gasket on the outside of the sash. This is what keeps the rain out and all the weather out. So um, I got these again from uh, VintageTrailerGaskets.com. This is the it's like the Airstream D Seal gasket or something like that. Sorry, I got a little bit of cocking on it here. So. It has a adhesive back, so we just peel off that, and I am kind of overlapping this bottom seal, and I'm having the gap on the bottom side. I'm just gonna run it around the outside. Outside gasket, the pane is together, the window is together, and we got it all riveted. And this is 100% done. This is ready to be installed back into your Airstream. And I am going to do that later on because none of my window frames are in there. <laughs> Alright, so that is the entire process of restoring the dual pane windows. Um, if you need to go back and look at the other ones, we have three total videos in this series, so go back and check those out. And feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And we're going to have a lot more how-to videos and a lot more videos about our story and about everything that we're doing.